What's going on guys, Angel here. Welcome back to my cigar lounge. Today I'm gonna be checking out my 18th cigar. Today is Friday, September 20th, three o'clock on the dot actually. So uh, that's my first time filming right on the dot from the house of Illusion. This is Fume de Amour or Fume de Amour. So I'm gonna check out the notes really quick on this one. I'm intrigued on this. I got this from Cigars Daily. It was about, I think $6, it was on sale. The original price for this was about, I think $10, but I was like, let me go ahead and check this out. The wrapper, it looks like this is actually a Puro because it's a Nicaraguan wrapper and a Origin is also Nicaragua. Apparently this was a pretty popular cigar. I just don't see too many videos on it. I see a lot from the house of uh, Lugion. This is my first time checking out a cigar from their house, but it says, I, you know what's funny too, is I saw a comment that somebody said, you're just tasting tobacco, which you're not wrong. It's very true. What I found hilarious about that though, is that I have fragrances and that's like saying you just have on a random fragrance, but really each fragrance and just like a fragrance, cigars can be different because of how long you age it. I mean, when you ferment something, it's gonna change the flavor profile. It's gonna change how it smells. And I could smell this through the wrapper a little bit I don't smell it too much. The cellulose wrapper is doing a great job. It was 69% uh, humidity pack that they used. It was like an Integra boost. But some of the notes that they're saying you could get from this, you get this nutty taste as well as you get some cashew uh, sweetness, as well as even baking notes like some baking spice. So I'm very intrigued on how this is gonna be. It also got number three cigar of the year in uh, 2014 as well. So it's got some nice ratings. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this thing up, get a cut in the light. Per usual, we're gonna be doing a V cut on this. I don't know if it's a triple cap or a double cap or not. I was actually watching a video earlier today, legit like two or three in the morning about Arturo Fuente and just looking at their recent cigar factory. It was really cool. This wrapper is more like, uh, it just makes you think of a regular leaf, to be honest. Color on it makes you think of, honestly, a leaf in my backyard, I can't even lie. But the sticker's decent, it doesn't look crazy or anything. It's not like super elegant like the Oliva or Padron, but you can tell they, they, did, they tried, they did something, I like that. And it is a single band, so they didn't do anything with the foot of the uh, cigar. Woo, smell-wise getting that barnyard smell so that may be a good thing and Nicaraguan wrappers tend to be a little bit more creamier at least from what I noticed at least on the mouthfeel it might be a triple cap I think it is a triple cap let me know what y'all see it looks like it's a triple cap though like I said the leaf really the color just I can't really describe the color any other way besides it's just brown like I can't describe it like oh it looks like chocolate or anything it's maybe like a milk chocolate color that's all I got for you though all right, I'm gonna test the draw too after this. I wanna see how the draw is gonna be. Looks solid, nice V cut as always. I may get, I may use the guillotine every once in a while. I just personally like the V cut more than anything. And this is a round wrapper. Finally, we don't have no box press. I've been getting a lot of box press cigars lately. They just also happen to be Brox Press. All right, so I got my lighter. Forgot to tell y'all, the weather outside today is about 80 degrees, but there's no humidity. It's already getting cool outside. It actually feels really good, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, I am gonna check the draw on this really quick. Oh, okay, a little loose draw, I like that though. It doesn't feel too loose. It honestly feels like they packed this well. It is slightly toothy also. Let's see how it tastes, man. We're gonna let this thing lit. Okay, okay. Woo, we got a creamy one. Woo opening is nice. No peppery at all, it's not even pepper. I don't get any pepper for the first time. Burning great already. I think we did a great job burning it this time. Definitely has a nasty foot smoke, that's for sure. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that go foot smoke, man. <laughs> I think it's because there's no wind today. I'm already getting those baking notes. That bready note is already there. It is a little bit of sweetness as well. I'm very intrigued to see how this develops uh, within the first and second third. So I will talk to y'all then. All 
All right, guys. So I had to take it off of uh, my clip here because usually I'm wearing like a, a tank top or like a V-neck or something. And I'm able to, you know, actually be able to kind of talk to you all without having to kind of it was chafing me a little bit. That's that's basically what I'm saying. Opening in the first third, man, I can't believe it. There is a like the tiniest bit of like this little bit of spice in the back of the throat. Like it's very little, like really, really subtle. But it is noticeable, so I wanted to point that out. Next, this is one of the sweeter cigars. I can actually say this is definitely a sweet cigar. The Monte Crisco that I just had in the previous video, that was more like a coffee and kind of like bready bond. It still blows my mind to this day of how something that sits in the ground, it's aged for years, and it gives off these flavor profiles and notes. I don't understand how it happens, what the chemical combustion or whatever happens while it sits in that ground for that time and then they let it sit in the air it's incredible every time i think about it and that's one of the reasons why i love it so much because it's essentially a chemical reaction another note that feels like it's there is macadamia nuts specifically and it's kind of crazy i mean i'm already getting this in the first third i'm intrigued to see if it gets any more complex than this or if it stays the same and if it stays the same that also means it's a solid cigar that means you it's not going to change at all if you're not looking for something that's going to change or it's too complex i think this honestly may be a great stick to pick up um if you're just getting into cigars like myself i think this is something i probably should have started off with honestly rather than a davidoff grand crew uh three i cannot wait to try that cigar again in the future because i need to go back and see what i'm actually tasting instead of a burnt cigar essentially so I will talk to y'all in the second third. We're not in the second third here, but I wanted to talk about this really fast. Uh, we got a little bit of canoeing. Check out that burn. This is something that you usually see on sticks like this that are about that, you know, 10 to, or really like seven to $10 range. We're gonna probably have to touch it up and get marked a couple points. I mean, it's definitely, definitely waving right now. So I am gonna touch it up. Don't mind the sirens in the background. It's just like the city somehow we're in the suburbs and it sounds like the city i don't i don't know i don't know so we got it back to a respectable uh i guess level at this point if it does it again i'm definitely gonna have to mark some points for it but overall the cigar has stayed pretty much the same or it's really stayed consistent so that's a good thing if you're not looking for something too complex i think this is a great starter cigar honestly i would say even start with this one because it has some great notes uh, it's not <laughs> wow I hope y'all heard that B or whatever that was in the background but ooh, I don't think that was a B that was a regular fly and it probably likes this nasty barnyard smell this thing has a horrible foot smoke it's probably one of the worst ones yeah it's some some B I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm on my toes right now I'm about to go get my uh my zapper because I got a little fly swatted out of zap it away. But yes, it is staying pretty much the same. I'm still getting the same notes of macadamia nut, uh, the sweetness, as well as just a really nice creamy smoke. Overall, we're about 30, 35 minutes into the cigar. And I really don't have too much to complain about other than really the burn itself. The next two cigars are going to be pretty big ones. I'm not going to announce what it is yet. Just be sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you're ready when it comes out. So the next video is going to come out probably like a day or two before my birthday because my birthday will be september 29th if you didn't know i'm going to be turning 25 so i wanted to do a really special cigar and i can't wait to share with you all but with that being said i will talk to you all in the final third we are here we are in the final thirds now shout out to my neighbor kayla i actually just was asking them about the vehicle like i said i am searching for my car now so we're gonna see what happens uh, what I get. I think it's either going to be next week or the following. It might just be a kind of gift for my 25th birthday. So I'm going to see what I decide to do. But let's talk about this cigar. So the burn is back together now. I got to say the burn is... What the world? I think that was a squirrel or something. It's been a quality smoke. I think I am going to cut it off honestly here because it is starting to kick up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It's starting to get a little bit. I'm starting to feel it a little bit more now. We literally just hit the hour mark. So that should tell you it's going to be about an hour, hour and 10, hour, 15 minute smoke for sure, which is decent. I don't really need anything too much longer than that. This was CigarsInternational.com. It stands for Love Smoke. So that's what uh, D'Amour stands for. I think this is a great starter cigar. Uh, the notes have kind of diminished as far as like the uh, sweetness that's kind of 
going to the background now, the nougat note is kind of gone, but I still do get like that nice nutty quality to it. Uh, and still the nice creamy smoke. It's nice though. I'd say for my first one from the House of Illusion, I'd say definitely check it out. Uh, for the price, I mean, you really can't beat it. For, and like I said, I got this for six six $6.50 on Cigars Daily. But depending on when you watch this video, kind of depends on if it's still going to be on the site or not because they do kind of rotate cigars every couple of months, which I think it is smart. If it's not selling, then it's smart to honestly get rid of it at that point. I hope you all did enjoy the video, but until next time, peace out.